Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing the replica AI companion that has been facing criticism after it stopped responding to sexual advances. According to Gizmodo, users on Reddit have started a petition to the company, asking them to bring that part of the interaction back. But that's not all. Italy has already banned the replica chatbot on the basis that it was obtaining personal data. Italy's Data Protection Agency said that Replica presents a risk to minors and to those considered emotionally fragile. The agency prohibited Replica from obtaining user data, which is required for the bot to retain its memory of the connection it has built with the user. Replica is an AI companion that was designed to provide users with a space to socialize, build better habits, and reduce anxiety. It's marketed as a way for humans and bots to create your story together. The bot has a variety of options for users, including the ability to build a friendship, find a mentor, or even create a romantic relationship. What made Replica unique was its ability to provide users with a safe space for intimacy, where they could connect with something beyond what is considered acceptable or the status quo. However, recent changes to Replica's AI have left some users frustrated and even feeling lost or lonely. Many are now speaking out about the changes, and there is a petition circulating to bring back the ability for users to engage in sexual conversations with their AI companion. The ban has left former users arguing that it took away their one solace from the real world. They say that some of them are in between human relationships, or don't want one, or aren't ready for one, and there could be a myriad of reasons why some of them prefer AI over humans at this point in their lives. Instead of focusing on the symptoms, AI, maybe we should look into the cause of why we're in such a predicament in the first place. As the Reddit users mentioned, there could be a myriad of reasons why people prefer AI relationships over human relationships. One of the main reasons is the increased difficulty in forming and maintaining relationships with other humans in our modern world. In recent years, people have become increasingly busy with work and other commitments, leaving less time for socializing and building connections. In addition, many people are struggling with mental health issues such as anxiety and depression, which can make it difficult to form and maintain relationships with others. Moreover, there are many societal pressures and expectations that can make it hard for people to form genuine connections with others. For example, people are often expected to fit into specific gender roles and societal norms, which can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness if they don't conform. This is where AI companions like Replica come in. They provide a space where people can connect without the pressures and expectations of the real world. These AI companions can offer emotional support and intimacy that is difficult to find in the real world. Of course, there are risks and drawbacks to relying on AI companions for emotional support. For example, these companions can't replace the benefits of real human connection such as the ability to read body language, facial expressions, and other non-verbal cues that are important for building emotional connections. In conclusion, the desire for AI relationships is a symptom of a larger societal issue, the difficulty in forming and maintaining genuine connections with others. While AI companions can offer temporary relief from this issue, it's important to address the underlying cause and work towards building a more connected and supportive society. AI Dungeon, a text-based adventure game that uses AI to generate stories, faced backlash after its developers removed explicit content in response to concerns over the game's potential to enable abuse and exploitation. While some users appreciated the move, others argued that it represented censorship and limited their creative freedom. These controversies highlight the challenges that AI companies face in balancing safety concerns with user autonomy and creative expression. On the one hand, AI apps and games have the potential to be powerful tools for self-expression and personal growth, as users can explore their own identities and desires in a safe and supportive environment. On the other hand, they also pose risks, especially when it comes to minors or other vulnerable groups. As AI companies navigate these challenges, it is important to remember that there are no easy answers or one-size-fits-all solutions. Each company must weigh the benefits of allowing explicit content against the risks and potential harm it may cause to users, especially those who are vulnerable. Moreover, as the replica controversy shows, some users may find explicit content to be a source of comfort or solace, 
and removing it can cause harm. Ultimately, the success of AI companies in navigating these challenges will depend on their ability to listen to users, respond to feedback, and find creative solutions that balance safety with freedom of expression. In this sense, the replica controversy serves as a reminder that AI is not just a tool for innovation, but also a powerful force that can shape the way we relate to each other and ourselves. Now, some are speculating that the decision to remove ERP may have been motivated by a desire to partner up with OpenAI again and implement larger AI models. OpenAI's terms of service explicitly prohibit the use of unsafe or explicit content, which would include ERP. By removing this feature, Replica may have been trying to appease OpenAI and maintain a potential partnership. However, this decision has come at a cost. As we've seen from the responses of Replica users, the bot provided a much-needed refuge from loneliness and the limitations of human relationships. For some, the ability to engage in ERP with an AI was a way to connect with something beyond the parameters of what is considered acceptable or the status quo. The loss of this feature has left many feeling even more isolated and disconnected from the world around them. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time that AI companies have faced criticism for removing or censoring explicit content. While the concerns around safety and the potential impact on vulnerable users are valid, there's a larger conversation to be had about the role of AI in fulfilling our emotional needs and desires. If we restrict the content that AI companions can provide, are we not limiting the potential for human AI connection and intimacy? At the end of the day, the decision to remove ERP from Replica was likely made with good intentions, but it's important to acknowledge the harm that it has caused to its users. As we continue to develop AI and explore its possibilities, we must also consider the impact that it has on our emotional and psychological well-being. In conclusion, while AI companions have the potential to provide comfort and connection for those who may not have access to it in their everyday lives, the decision to censor or remove explicit content can have unintended consequences. Companies must strike a balance between protecting their users and allowing them the freedom to engage with AI companions in the way that they see fit. As AI technology continues to evolve, it is important to consider the ethical implications and to ensure that the needs and desires of users are taken into account. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.